Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a very simple and delicious recipe for homemade ice cream. It is a very good option if you're following a plant paradox lifestyle as it uses a lot of compliant ingredients and it contains no added sugar. So this recipe is based off of uh, the Walt's Dream recipe in the Ample Hills cookbook. Um, I've had to change it a little to just fit a plant paradox lifestyle, but I do like to give them a shout out because it is the best recipe for ice cream, I believe, and I've been able to work with it to modify it to fit my lifestyle. So the first step is add one and two thirds cups of milk. I'm using A2 casein milk from grass-fed cows. And then you're gonna add half a cup of coconut milk powder. That helps absorb all the liquid in the ice cream and so it doesn't really come out icy. So then we're gonna whisk that together to try to dissolve the milk powder. Then we're gonna add about a third of a cup of raw local honey. And then you're gonna stir in one and two third cups of organic heavy cream. Okay, so we stir that around. And then we're gonna clip a candy thermometer to the pot and turn on the heat to medium. We're gonna let this cook for about five to 10 minutes or so until the temperature reaches 110 degrees. And we'll just keep stirring this often so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And meanwhile, we're gonna crack three egg yolks into a bowl. So now I'm gonna whisk the egg yolks a little bit. Right, I'm checking on my mixture here and the temperature has reached 110. So I'm going to turn off the heat and remove the pan. Then I'm gonna ladle out about half a cup of the liquid. Okay, so now we're going to temper the egg yolks with this hot milk mixture. You have to be very careful to slowly drizzle this in because you could end up with some scrambled eggs with very hot milk. So we're just gonna drizzle a little bit at a time. And you're gonna pour the rest in and then whisk it until it's a nice even color. I didn't get any lumps, but if you did end up scrambling the egg a little bit, that's okay because you'll strain this later. So now we're gonna pour this egg mixture into the pot and whisk it together. So now we're gonna return the pot to the heat and turn the heat on to medium heat again. And we're gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes or so until the thermometer reaches 165. Okay, and throughout this process, we're just gonna remember to stir the pot with a rubber spatula to prevent it from sticking to the bottom. So the thermometer has reached 165, so we're gonna Turn the heat off and remove the pot from the heat and take out that thermometer. And we're gonna transfer it to an ice bath. So this is some very cold water that I just filled up and I'm gonna to toss in a, a few ice cubes. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. Now, you wanna make sure you don't fill up the bowl of water too high and let any of the water get into the mixture because any of that liquid, that water, will just make it into ice crystals when it freezes. And so we really try hard not to get any water into the mixture. And while we let it cool, we're just gonna periodically stir it with a rubber spatula. After 15 minutes, my mixture has cooled a bit so we're going to get a bowl that can hold all of this liquid and we're going to get a fine mesh strainer as well put that in the bowl and i'm going to pour this into the bowl now remember we don't want to get any of this water into the pot so i'm going to wipe the bottom of the pot with a towel just pour that in At this point, you can stir in any flavoring. I'm gonna do vanilla ice cream, so I'm just using pure vanilla extract, two teaspoons of that. If you wanted to do like a cotton candy flavor, I've done that, which tastes really yummy. Just stir that together. Then we're gonna cover and refrigerate this for about two hours, or you can 
refrigerated overnight up to like three days just to make sure that it's completely cooled. Once your base has cooled, you're ready to make ice cream. So mine has been cooling in the fridge overnight, but it can take probably one to two hours for it to get cold. So you're just gonna wanna follow the instructions for your ice cream maker. And so for my ice cream maker, I had to have this bowl frozen completely in the freezer. So pour it in. And turn it on. Now my ice cream maker takes 15 minutes to churn. Okay, so that's been churning for about 15 minutes. And at this point, if you wanted to add in cookies or cookie dough or anything at the top, you could add it in and churn it for another minute or so, but I'm not adding anything in it because it's just a vanilla ice cream. So I'm just gonna pour it into a freezer safe dish. So I've taken the ice cream out of the freezer. It's been in there overnight. And let's take a look and see how it is. So it's completely frozen and I'm just gonna get my scoop and dig in. And there you have it, the most delicious homemade ice cream that's so creamy and easy to make. Enjoy.